Hello, my name is Yanis, and uh, today I would like to show you the current state of my Summer of Code project, which is called Derivatives API. Uh, my API works with media, and its purpose is to, to create um, a framework for creating uh, file derivatives. Um, uh, sandbox project can be found here. I will post link also to my blog. Um, and code can be downloaded from Git. And you're welcome to to test it and to give me some feedback, of course. Um, another thing that you may find useful is um, the core workspace, which I use for development. This is basically a Drupal core fork with some modifications uh, mostly in standard installation profile and it uh, basically just enables some other modules like media file entity derivatives api so you don't have to uh, do it by yourself and um, also all modules that are needed are included as uh, git sub modules so you can get all your uh, code base with just a few git comments. Um, I will post instructions how to use it on my blog also. Uh, so let's take a look at our uh, derivatives API. Here I have a fresh installation of Drupal 7 and um, this is basically a standard profile with some other modules um, I have media enabled file entity of course and uh, media derivatives which is my API and uh, also derivatives API present user interface um, uh, this will all be enabled by default if you use my my uh, core workspace um, now we can go to configuration media media derivatives and we come to the media preset user interface which is uh, basically the only thing you will get on front end when you install uh, media derivatives and media derivatives preset user interface um, here you can uh, edit disable or add new uh, media derivatives presets which are basically sets of configuration and since we don't have any preset right now we will create one um, uh, this is uh, a C tools wizard um, which will guide us through the creation process um, it so it shouldn't be so so uh, hard to do it um, first we have to decide for a machine name of our preset um, we will call it 2mp4 since we will use it we will configure it to to transcode every every video file to mp4 format then we have some basic options here, um, which are the core API settings. Um, and here are four types of plugins which uh, have to be used for every preset. First is Engine. Engine is a plugin that um, will, uh, will actually transcode our file. There is only one engine in the system right now, and it's simple FFmpeg engine, which I implemented as an example. Uh, so we can only use this one. Then we have triggers. Triggers are plugins that uh, that uh, that execute uh, derivation process at some event. Um, I have implemented two basic triggers file insert which will be executed when a file is inserted into Drupal site and field pre-save 
when 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 a, a file has been added to a field. Um, all these types of plugins can be. This, I mean, these are plugins, so every developer can develop it its own implementation, and uh, it can be totally custom. Uh, we will use file insert for now because it's the basic one. Uh, scheduler is responsible for uh, scheduling uh, derivation process. <coughs> uh, since um, a file can be uh, created when uh, a, 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 a derivative has been uh, triggered, or we can do this sometime in the future. Uh, we have three basic schedulers. One is immediate, which will create a file immediately after a trigger has, uh, has executed the, the derivative creation process. And we have two time-based uh, time schedulers, um, which can be used if we want to schedule creation process uh, sometime in the future. Um, there is also a possibility to to create schedulers which are not based on time but on anything else so you could uh, trigger derivation uh, creation of a derivative file uh, when a system load is at below some level or something like this i will use immediate scheduler now um, and rules rules are are plugins uh, which are um, which are um, used when a uh, creation process uh, is started. And uh, the, every rule we, we have to return true if we want that uh, a derivative which was, um, which was triggered by some event will actually be created. So we can say, okay, um, this preset will only um, work with video files, so we will enable rule uh, based on file type, and we will configure it to respond only on video files. Uh, another rule that we most probably need is derivatives of derivatives rule. Uh, this rule will uh, will will uh, check if a source file is also a derivative and uh, respond based on configuration you enter. So you can allow derivatives or derivatives for some preset or disallow them. We will disallow them here because the the derivative file of this preset will also be video and if we would not use this rule we would fall into a recursion uh, which would never end um, let's go to the next step next step is about trigger settings and since our file insert trigger does not implement any settings we have an empty page here so we can continue the same case with scheduler and uh, here are rules. We have two rules, file type, which has to be video, and derivatives of derivatives, which um, has to stay unchecked since we don't want to uh, encode derivatives of derivatives. We only want to encode files that are uploaded by user. Continue. And the last set of settings is uh, engine settings. Um, since this is a simple FFmpeg uh, engine, we are basically allowed here to edit FFmpeg command that will be executed. So here we enter arguments that are placed before the input file. Here we input uh, arguments that are placed after the input file. And here we enter the, 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 the output file extension and we said that we want to have mp4 files and other configuration will be default for now. Finish and now we have our preset here. Now we can use it. Um, 
I found a bug in API today and uh, uh, preset will not work until we flush all caches. Um, so I'll do this now. You can see it here. Um, I will fix that as soon as possible. And another thing worth mentioning is um, the configuration for our FFmpeg engine, which can be found on configuration media simple FFmpeg engine. We have to enter our F path to our FFmpeg command. Um, I'm using uh, non-standard path, so I will change it, save it. And when path was OK, you will get FFmpeg output here before there was just an error. Um, OK, now we are ready to test our preset. Let's go to media library and we will upload one file. I have uh, an AVI file here. It's a music video and um, I will submit it. Uh, you can see that um, We are still processing in background and uh, our derivative is being created now. Okay, our file has been uploaded and our derivative was uh, created. As you can see, we, ha we have two files now. The original file which was uploaded and uh, another file which is basically the same video converted to mp4. And this is uh, what we've done with our preset. Um, so this is about uh, configuration presets. In the next screencast, I will show you um, a feature which uh, implements two presets. Uh, since uh, presets are uh, implemented with CTools export uh, API, they have uh, out-of-the-box support for features, so they can be exported using features. And I created one sample feature with two with two presets and a formatter that will uh, create do something really nice with those presets. So come back and see you later.